I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a quick look at the interface for the Robinhood investment app. So this is the main screen. You can see I put $1,000 in here. This is part of my 1K test series. Um, and uh, at the top of the screen, I've got my current balance, which updates every couple of seconds. So if you like to watch your investments in real time, which isn't necessarily advised, but um, I think a lot of Robinhood users like that, um, you can see the current price of your whole portfolio. Again, I started with $1,000, so I made about 3 bucks so far. Um, and uh, you can see the amount that your portfolio has gained or lost today, as well as this chart where you can change to different uh, time frames. So I just started my account, so I don't have um, this uh, longer graph. But if you did, you can see um, those different time frames there. And we can go to a live uh, look at the last hour, which is interesting to see there. Um, the upper right, you can earn rewards by referring people. I haven't de uh, delved into that yet. Buying power, that's how much uh, money you have you can still invest. That's not already in investments. So I've already made a few, and um, we'll see those down here. So as I scroll further, I get to my investments. I have Snap, Coca-Cola, um, this random stock, a biotech stock that they gave me. You've got a, a little bonus stock when you create a Robinhood account, which is interesting, and then some Tesla. Um, and then broken out separately is any cryptocurrencies that you earn. Um, Robinhood is known for making it just as easy to invest in crypto as it is in um, uh, stocks and other kinds of securities. Now down at the bottom, um, this is my list. I think this is, I'm not sure why it's giving me these other stocks. I've um, got some of the ones that I've looked at probably and maybe some suggestions for me. Um, and then down here, I've got cryptos to watch. So I'm not sure why they're choosing Bitcoin to put in there, but um, you can create your own lists if you wanted to share, uh, you know, investing advice with others and that kind of thing. Um, now let's page over to the search. Uh, that's a little magnifying glass. This is where I can look at um, companies and I can also look at news. And if I want to, I can go into these existing lists, cannabis companies, for example, or I can go into um, you know, crypto, different crypto you could potentially invest in. Um, now I'm going to go over to the little person at the far right. That's my account. And I like here that there's this easy breakdown of how your um, assets are invested. So you get 90% stocks, 10% crypto at the moment. And then it's telling me the sectors that uh, each of my, my uh, securities investments are in. So I can page into this in a bit more detail and see which of my stocks um, are in that area and, and uh, other companies that I might be interested in. So this is a nice kind of snazzy um, interface to be able to see exactly where your uh, different investments are. And I can go into crypto and see um, they break it down here to the three different kind of categories of crypto investments. Um, I haven't dabbled in options yet, um, but I can go back here and let's go back to the main screen. Well, I'm up to $4. Um, and uh, we can keep monitoring here. So that's the uh, the interface of the Robinhood app. It's part of my 1K tests series where I put $1,000 into various modern investment apps and we can follow along and see how it does. So subscribe to my channel here if you want to see updates on uh, my experiments with Robinhood. And remember, this is all for informational purposes only. This is not investment advice. I'm not saying you should invest in any of the companies I've got here. Um, and always consult a professional advisor before you make any investment decision. Again, subscribe, follow along, and we'll see how Robinhood does for me.